Hey everyone, Josh here with North Face Construction and today we're going to talk about frost in attics. Uh, this isn't something that many people are aware of that can be an issue in the house and even if they do have this issue, a lot of times it doesn't show itself until it's a little too late to nip it in the bud. But we're going to take a look at what causes it, why this is an issue for you in your home, and how to fix it in the future. So recently in Minnesota, I mean up the whole Midwest, we had the polar vortex came, come through so that caused a lot of heat fluctuations and when I say heat I mean just temperature fluctuations down into the really lows and then back up. We had about a 70 degree swing within three days here in Minnesota and that is when frost in the attic can happen. So let's talk a little bit more about frost up in the attic. All right, now that we're up in this attic, uh, we're able to assess and see what's going on. This attic is looking like it's performing well um, in the insulation. We're not having any leaks. So that's the main reason why you would have frost in your attic. When the temperatures drop so low, the humidity within your house actually can be leaking up into your attic. Insulation doesn't stop the humidity from coming through, it stops the heat. Before building codes were enacted that required foam ceiling or of bypasses such as lights, uh, ductwork, pipes like over there, that's where most of your humidity from within the house could actually leak up into the attic. So when it's really cold like that and you have the humidity coming up into this attic, it's got to do something it's going to condensate on the wood because this is the cold surface and that's where that is going to freeze up. Well, who cares if something's freezing? Well, it's not the freeze part that we're worried about. It's when that thaws out. A lot of people, we get phone calls thinking, hey, I have a roof leak in my house when those temperature swings happen. And we come out and we see, no, actually it's not a roof leak. It's a moisture problem from within the house that's causing that. And it melts and goes into the house and can cause lots of damage on drywall, paint, furniture, personal items, all sorts of things. So to sum it up, don't run the humidifiers in the winter if you can help it. Uh, when you take a shower, make sure you let that fan run a little bit longer to get that humidity up and out of the house. Anything you can do that lowers the humidity in the house will help. Um, but it's not going to stop the issue if your home was built prior to when these building codes were enacted. So how you solve this problem and stop it from happening again is by sealing the bypasses in the attic. Whether that be just finding all of them and putting some foam around, boxing them off with approved, um, approved boxes, and then or even removing all of this insulation out of the attic and replacing it with a potential spray foam, a, cl a closed cell spray foam, that will actually seal it and insulate it all in one step. Also, a good thing is to check to make sure you have proper ventilation. In this house, we have the chutes coming up from the soffits and we can see there's a little bit of lighting and it's blocked off uh, good from the insulation getting into the soffits. And then we also know that there's enough roof fence up here as well. You can see that hole for the square footages. So ventilation and leaking. Your next step for solving this is getting a professional out to come and take a look, uh, get in the attic, figure out what is going on, and then also maybe do a blower door, uh, a blower door pressure test, uh, energy efficiency audit to see where your house is leaking, uh, potentially on the building envelope, identify where those inefficiencies are, and they'll be able to propose a solution that fits well for your house because every house is different uh, old new big small they all function the same but they have different aspects that that professional will be able to help you navigate thanks for uh climbing on up here with me today you guys and i really hope that you learned something today and can help you in the future mm -hmm.